So, all right. So this series, um, uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about music. All right. And so this series, I, I need to walk through certain things about music. Man, I, I've been. Uh, I went to Augusta. There's a, a great group of people that I love um, down in Augusta. Uh, put me onto something that I've never heard of that I learned, and I'm getting ready to start exploring this. That um, uh, in the late 1800s, they changed. Uh, give me a middle C. I got my wife on the keyboard. I mean, not uh, not a middle C. Uh, uh, the the A below middle C. All right, so this is an A, all right? So they tune everything in the world as far as music to this A, all right? Now, everything in the world is in a frequency. So just, just as uh, everything is on a frequency. So if I do this, uh, y'all ever seen that graph where things show up? Every, every sound, whether you hear it or not, shows up on a frequency. You can um, uh, do like a dog whistle and nobody, like you can't hear it, but the frequency a dog can hear. So everything is represented on a frequency. And what happened with this, this, um, this A is they changed the frequency from, uh, uh, and this is going to be a little, little technical, but you'll get it soon. Um, from 432 hertz to, uh, is it hertz or kilohertz? Kilohertz, right? Kilohertz. All right, Four, 432 to 440, all right? And what they said scientifically is when they change the frequency that they're able to control people with that frequency of music. So... Intentionally, they put messages. I, I, I need all my, I need all this crew to come sit over here, cause y'all sure no need to hear this. Ah, uh, everybody over here, move now. Come sit over here. Matter of fact, y'all, y'all take these front seats right here. Yeah, yeah. I need, I need y'all to hear what I'm saying. So, all right. So, the frequency. Once the frequencies change. They're able to control the music. So they intentionally, sit down, buddy. All right. So they intentionally put, yeah, you're walking like, all right. So they intentionally put things in the music to control, to make you feel a certain way. All right. So I want to walk through music and then we're going to go through the scripture, but I want to walk. So most uh, major chords make you feel happy. Give me a major chord. All right, so that major chord, uh, uh, lower octave, lower octave. All right, so um, like, like a lot of uh, happy type of songs, really uh, from other cultures, because a lot of times black music is made in, a, in what you call a minor key, which is a little darker. All right, so go back to the major key. So all the happy music, I am happy today, I am happy today, when he washed my sins away, I am joyous today, yes, I am joyous today, yes. All right, so go to the minor key. I am happy today. It's hard to get happiness. So most of our songs are written in keys of anguish and chords of sadness. So so most of this stuff right here, give me that um, minor, minor, give me that minor, minor. This right here. I've been struggling, straining. Things are hard. But it's, go back to the major key. It's tough to sing negative in a major key. I am struggling. Straining. 
All right. So so the so the mechanics of the music is is based off the course. If you are watching a movie, you hear that somebody getting ready to get killed. Somebody getting ready to get shanked right there. You'd be like, don't go in there. My daddy, who's in heaven, my daddy used to watch TV with the remote in his hand and turn the music off when the scare part comes. Oh! He pressed mute because he feel like the, the music is the thing that's enhancing. So when you hear that minor key, even in a cartoon, they, they don't have to tell you that something is getting ready to happen. The music is communicating that. All right? So, so what has happened over time is we have most of all our music is in minor keys. Even mine. All right? It's in minor keys. And so major keys, a lot of people write happier songs. So you got to understand the emotions and, and things in the music and, uh, and, and what you're trying to portray in the music. All right? Uh, give, give me like one of your jazz chords. Just any, any type of... All right, so this, this right here, even though it causes a little tension, it says something else to the body. Now, now that says sexy to me. Love. It don't say happy. It also don't say somebody getting ready to get killed. All right, so the music speaks. All right, hold on. So the music is speaking, all right? So now I need you all to understand that the music that we are listening to is probably suggesting certain things to our spirit that we end up living out. Remember, power of life and death is in the tongue. So if I get you to say what the song is saying, then you will take the emotions of the song. You will take the emotions of the songwriter. The songwriter at that point has you under his control. And whatever is in the song, you will start to desire because of what you're saying out of your mouth. Oh. Music is not just music. All right? It has power. All right, so let me, let me, let me go to the scriptures. Uh, I want to explain this real quick. Um, uh, Saul was king. God loved Saul. God was with Saul. This is King Saul in the Bible. All right, he's king over Israel. He's, he's, a, he's a powerful man. Uh, he disobeyed God. All right? When he disobeyed God, all right, I need y'all to get, get the kids. I know they uh, watching their phone, but I, I need them to kind of, you know, try. Try to pay attention because this we're going to live this out. We're living it out right now. All right. And, and God is getting ready to give us dominion in the music world. All right. He's getting ready to give. No, he has given us dominion in the music world. Why? Because the light has come. And whenever the light has come, darkness voluntarily has to leave. All right. It can't stay around. So most of the times dark places are, 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 are there because light didn't show up. All right. So we are officially invading the music industry with light in Jesus name. All right. So we have to have wisdom and we have to have understanding. All right. David was a, a warrior. All right. But he also was a musician. All right. It's it, uh, the theologians uh, calculate that, it, that he wrote over 4000 songs. All right. That's a lot of songs. All right. He wrote mu uh, music. He's also uh, was a musician. He played the harp. So um, the king, the king before David was king, was Saul. All right, and Saul was a guy that disobeyed God, and the Bible says the spirit of God left him. All right. Now the spirit of God was on David. David was anointed king. So I want to I want to kind of show y'all this. Can you be? Can you be Saul real quick? Yeah, I need you to be Saul. Come on, come on. And I need, I need a David. I need a, give me, um, you know what? Let me take one of y'all. Come on, David. Come on, you can come up here as man of God. All right, so you right here. All right, so David was a young man. Uh, and, and, and so Saul was king at the time. All right, so now 
Saul disobeys God, all right, and David is anointed king. Now, when, when Samuel, who was the man of God, let's say, um, let me get a man of God. Let me get a man of God. Let me, let me come on, come on, come on. You the man of God. You Samuel. Yeah, come on, Samuel. Samuel got on a wife beater today. Come on. Yeah, but we don't beat wives. We love our wives. Yeah, yeah. All right. So Samuel, so you, so you're getting ready to anoint anoint him king. Now you've already anointed him king before. So so you're kind of afraid to anoint him king because if he find out that you anointing him king, he gonna kill you. All right. So you sneaking around getting ready to anoint him king. So so at the time. The spirit of God was on him. The power of God was on him. He was the king. All right? Now, he disobeys God. The spirit of God leaves him. And when he anoints David king, so act like you got oil in your hand, you know, and you, and you anoint his head. Yeah, just squeeze all the oil on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as he's anointed king, the spirit of God comes on him. All right? Now. When the Spirit of God leaves him, the Bible says the Lord sent evil spirits to torment him. Not the devil. The Bible didn't say that the devil sent evil spirits. It says the Lord sent evil spirits to torment him. May the Lord send evil spirits to torment your enemies. You can't just mess with me. I got God on me, so you mess with me. Evil spirits will torment you in Jesus' name. All right, so, so now evil spirits, so I need you to act like, you know, like you really know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, t yeah, there it is. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me. <laughs> do it again, do it again. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got it. You got it. All right. All right. So so evil spirits are tormenting him. And, and, and the people around Saul says, man, you need to get somebody that can, a, a, a skilled musician to play evil spirits off of you. All right. So David was the person that they found. Now, let me tell you something. When he was anointed. Um, um, to be king, he is like 17. He's like a teenager. All right? He's a teenager, and, and he's anointed king. And, you know, the, the Bible says he was ruddy, which means he was like wild. He was, he was about that life. His brothers were, were, were you know, the, the Bible says that they were all neat in stature. They looked good. And, and even when the king came to anoint him, they hid David. He was in there cleaning, uh, watching the sheep because they was embarrassed because he would say something crazy around the man of God. So they hid him. But the Lord said, it's him. A lot of y'all feel like, you know what, man, I, I'm not the good kid or they always picking this kid or whatever, you know, whatever. I'm telling you, God got his hand on all of y'all. All right. In Jesus name. God, say out loud, God has his hand on me. Say it again. God has his hand on me. All right. So even though his daddy hit him, that, 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 that doesn't uh, uh, deter what God had for him. So he's anointed. Uh, and then now he is playing the harp. He's a great harp player. He's a songwriter, but he's also a warrior. So he can fight and rap. All right, so now, so the man of God, all right, you got to creep around that way because you don't want him to see that you done anointed a whole nother man king. Yeah, there it is, and you're tormented. You're tormented. Ah, ah, ah. All right, there it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you, so you can go. You done. All right, so now let me show you how, how God will do this. This ain't even got nothing to do with where I'm going, but, but immediately, let me show you. Ah, this, immediately, when the spirit of God is on him, it leaves him. All right. But then the king needs him to get rid of the evil spirits. So what happens is 
based off of how God designed it, he designed the king, the new king, the anointed king, to some kind of way they have to summon me to the kingdom to get ready to get in place to take over what I'm getting ready to take over. God got some of y'all in jobs. God got some of y'all next to the boss because takeover is getting ready to happen. Some of y'all are getting close. God is bringing you into a new uh, uh, arena of people. You're getting ready to have new relationships because things are changing. So in, as soon as, let me show you something. God, see, see an, anointings and gifts are to solve problems. All right? You don't get rich because you're smart. You get rich because you can solve a problem. There are things. The chair right here solves a problem so we don't have to stand up. The mic is, is an amplifier so I, I don't have to scream. Everything solves a problem. When you have an anointing to solve a problem, then wealth follows your ability to solve problems. You're smart enough to solve a problem, find a problem to solve, and, and wealth is right behind that. So what happens is, let me show you how God does it. You get over here. All right, let me show you how God does it. He is... His dad had him watching the sheep. They are nowhere near the kingdom. They are nowhere near the kingdom. He's nowhere near being king. His family is not necessarily royalty at the time. He is as far away from the kingdom as he could be. So God makes this man have a problem that only this man can solve. He... Saul didn't even understand that he summoned his replacement. Woo! Some of y'all have been summoned by people that you're getting ready to replace. So God did this. God called evil, evil spirits because he understood that he had a gift that could solve that problem. Got close to him and got favor to him. So now he starts to play, and when he plays... Evil spirits lead him. So guess what, what happens when he stopped playing? They come, they come back. So he had to keep him close. The king has to keep you close. Your boss has to keep you close. When you're not around, things go wrong. Man, I'm, I'm, this thing is going so well, but I'm, I'm going to stay here. But, but, but the teacher like you for some reason. Because things happen uh, uh, when you're around. So, so now he's playing. Evil spirits is, 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 is going away from him. So the anointing on him is, based, is, is there to solve a problem that the king needs. Now, the authority of the king is now giving him favor because of his ability. All right? But God set him up. So there's an ability that you have, even, even beyond music, that you've been uh, 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 cultivating all your life, that you've been doing, and somebody's getting ready to request you. And it's going to be something that only you could do. Some of y'all been doing certain things. You've been working regular jobs, but you've been doing uh, 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 other things that you like to do. And you feel like, don't nobody, man, I hate doing this regular job, but I love doing this and won't nobody hire me or get me involved in this. That's getting ready to change. That's getting ready to change. Let me, let me, so he is playing something that he was doing around the sheep, something that he was doing uh, 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 on his quiet time. He's a teenager. Something that he's doing is now necessary. What was what was a waste of time at, at one time where his daddy was like, boy, you still playing that thing? Where his brothers were like, man, you still playing that thing? Now he, it's necessary. What, 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 man, when I used to make beats and make noise, and I was in the room making noise and making noise, and, and my sister was like, man, you loud. Please, can you turn it down? And some of my music, people were like, alright, alright, you know, you, you alright, you alright. Now, what I do takes care of me and my family. So God's going to flip your, 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 your uh, hobby into your gift. Whew. May you get paid off getting fun, having fun. May you get paid off having fun. May you, get, may you live off having fun. Y'all y'all ain't catching it, boy. But may you live off having fun. All right. So, 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 uh, so now David is playing evil spirits off of him. 
the gift to play music makes this man at ease. So my first point is, music can drive away evil spirits. Anointed music will drive away evil spirits. If you have a bad vibe in your house, if you have, uh, 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 even if, uh, so, so y'all can go, y'all gonna come back when I call for Saul, when I call for David. You David, all right? Y'all give it up. Do it again, bro. Do it again. Be vexed by, but ah! okay, okay. That's your, that's your move. That's your move. So, so, so now, so now, evil spirits can be driven away by the right music. Okay. If you are in a, a place, uh, um, I do, um, you know, I've been doing music for a long time, and I make music, and what I do on most of my music uh, is what I call a bomb. Um, 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 and I, I just made that name up, but I call it bomb. Uh, uh, one, one, one of my verses of uh, one of my songs is saying, you think I'm doing music, I say I'm dropping bombs. And a, and a bomb to me is... When I make the music and the song is done, I pray in the spirit and silence in the music. So most of my music, you hear the music, but you also feel the prayer. So I am praying, and a lot of my music, I'm like, bless the Lord, whoever listen to this, bless him in Jesus' name. You can't hear that, you can't hear that track in none of my music, but it's in there. It's called a bomb. And so the presence of what I'm saying, because I'm, because I'm making sounds, I am causing whatever presence that's on me at that time in that music to be on that person and in their ears. Because my music, the purpose of it is to drive away evil spirits. Now, there's music that attracts evil spirits all right now uh i, I want to uh put get a mic floating real quick because i want to ask some questions this is an introduction uh introductory session on music we are uh from week to week are going to get more deep into it uh where you going come on you ain't done no you're done you're done i'm just playing. i need somebody to hold uh mic gcs oh, okay sis you could do it uh and i and i want uh questions uh, on the music that you listen to. Now, I want I want to say this. I grew up um, Pentecostal, uh, Church of God in Christ. My mom, we, we were in church um, every Sunday uh, and sometimes do, during the week too. You know, they got special programs or whatever. And all of my life, as, as far as I can remember, there's been an issue with the music. Either the young people don't get into the music or they don't like the music uh, or it's church music. You know how you got Christmas music that you just don't want to listen to all year round? You just want to listen to it around Christmas. You know, there's a, a, a Christmas. Yeah, uh, yeah, bro, come on up to the, the, to the keyboard. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, um, there's Christmas music. What's a good song? This Christmas and the, the, Yeah, don't nobody want to hear that in May. Don't nobody want to hear that in May. You know, uh, you want to hear Christmas music around Christmas. Same thing. So I think the mentality is, yeah, I want to hear church music at church. But I don't really want to hear church music in my car. All right? So we are being honest with the world right now because we have to invade. How many people listen to church music or gospel music or Christian music through the week? Okay, 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 put your hand down. All right, all right, all right. How many people also listen to mainstream music through the week? That's, that's, it's, it's on, you can be honest, you be honest. All right, all right, so now I need to know so that we can start diagnosing a thing. Uh, th this is one thing that my kids are gonna hear me say that they've never heard me say that I'm getting ready to say right now. Um, Y'all can listen. You can listen to what you want, but take the Holy Spirit in there with you. 
All right, so so here's here's what I'm teaching them to, how to navigate because a lot of stuff I'm not gonna be able to control. They gotta control it. Amen. All right, so I so we, you know, born and raised Church of God in Christ, we uh you know listen to only gospel. All right, gospel. We listen to the whinings tomorrow. We listen to commission. All right, we listen to gospel music. All the time. I I still lost my virginity at a at a at a church convention at 16. So the music didn't change nothing about my behavior. I was still kind of permi- promiscuous. So the music, what 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 is the problem whereas my mama tried to make put Holiness around me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it didn't and it didn't stop me from doing certain things. And so is it possible that we have to be taught to navigate through darkness with our light? And so what I'm deciding is you gonna be you gonna be on TikTok, because I could do that, man. TikTok, you just swipe and be like, oh. You don't know what's getting ready to come when you swiping on Instagram. Uh, you know, all type stuff be next. You don't know what that thumb about this. You don't know what you're getting ready to see. You know, that you can't unsee. God, no. So y'all are living. So for me to tell you, to, to, to hey, listen, only, listen, only look at the holy TikToks. Only, only, only when you, when you see it and you realize, man, that stuff be in you already. Some of them, as soon as you, soon as you swipe the booty there. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm, I guess I can't, I can't be, I can't be 100 with y'all. So how do I help them to navigate through this type of system and world? I can, I can, I can easily say no more TikTok. I could easily say no more Instagram. I could easily say no more Facebook. All right? That that's I could easily say that. But me telling them not to is going to build a bigger desire for them to to do it. So my job is to train them on what to do when you see that, what to do when you hear that, what to do when you... So so I have to now figure out... Because when we was raised, everything was a sin. And I mean everything. These women that's wearing pants in church, we couldn't wear pants in church. The women couldn't wear pants. They couldn't wear pants. They couldn't wear makeup red. No, they could wear any lipstick but red. If it's red, it's Jezebel. <laughs> Not Jezebel. Jazz. It's Jezebel. The, de- the devil, you know, you had to wear head covering when you on first Sunday. You got to wear white. And then I was like, man, God, dog, where's the freedom in Jesus? Y'all got more rules in here than the other religions. My wife, okay, I'm gonna let you preach that sermon. She says, all and all the rules were toward them women, she say. Yeah, but women, women couldn't. So, so so I am uh teaching uh my family freedom and take Jesus everywhere with you. Cause some of these places, no, all of these places need light. So you gotta, so I asked Minion, who, who, who hot? What what's the hot song right now? And he say uh Trippy Red. Uh and the song that he just did with Cardi B. I don't even know how old the song is. Is is is, is it new? Well you said Trippy Red. No no I'm saying the when I looked up the song that you said is featuring Cardi B. So so Whatever song he said, what's the name of the song you said? Mr. Rage. 
That song ain't featuring Cardi B. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so Mr. Mr. Ray is another song. Okay, but I'm learning because I'm I'm late. I'm still on Pac and Biggie. I'm still <laughs> I'm still on Pac and Biggie and uh and uh Snoop and uh uh what's the last thing uh, uh you know so so you know as a pastor you know you 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 listen to and we listen to worship uh worship music and I never be more loved. Than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up. So there's nothing I can do to let you down. So 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 all of that worship music. Uh, yeah, yeah, that worship. And then when we say amen. If, if that dog gone, I'll never be more love than I am right now. Was it holding you up? Uh, 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 uh. Like, like, if I don't, if it ain't got no aggression to it, it ain't gonna get no play in the car. Bring, bring me four chairs. Bring me four chairs. Bring me four chairs. Bring me four chairs. GCS, come on up here. GCS, come up here. GCS, come up here. Eric, come up here. Rail, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Let me let me just show you what we're working on. What we're working on. Cause we gotta take possession of this, but we gotta, but we gotta be real. Put 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 two in the front. Two in the front, two in the back. Two in the front, two in the back. All right. You 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 driving in Jesus' name. You driving. You driving. You know what I'm saying. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We in the car. We ride. All right, we riding. We all, we all love Jesus. We save. We save. All right, we we ride. We on a road trip, four hour road trip. All right, we save. We save. All right, we love Jesus, but we but. I'll never be more loved. Then I am right. And I love this song. Wasn't holding you, but in the car with the homies. Oh, boy, you need to turn that Hey. So, so, so in, in the car while we riding, are we keeping it 100? I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? I got to play something that gives me energy and that keep me up. Now, I'm going to play some gospel Christian hip hop. But over time, it's going to go to We gonna start playing. <laughs> Kids don't even know what that is. That's Tupac, I ain't mad at you. No, the, well, that's Tupac, I ain't mad at you. That's also Black Street. Don't leave me, girl. See that? Please stay with me tonight. Yeah, see? So, 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 uh, uh, so, it, it, so we, we'll play, we'll, all of this will get played, but over time, y'all might well get that Michael Jackson playlist up. It gonna go to Mike. When I drive, somewhere in my trip, I gotta play Mike. I, I got, I gotta just get one of them, just get one of them. I just got because... So now I got to be strong enough, strong enough to be able to hear a song and not let it change my life. You heard one, one, you don't heard one Cardi B record. Now you want to be a stripper. Yo, yo, your relationship with God can't be that weak. Here's why. Here's why. And this is what I used to have an argument about believers all the time. You still driving? Keep your eye on the road. All right, all right. That 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 that's even. That's 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 the, that's the, that's the, 
So, so look, so, all right, stop, 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 stop. So, 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 all right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so, 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 so Mike gonna get played somewhere. All right, but this, here, here's my dilemma with, with what we used to be taught and how you have to be spiritually strong and how, how you have to always go back into the presence of God to get refilled. Because them same Christians that tell you that you can't listen to this and you can't listen to that will go watch a movie with all of that filth in it anyway. They, they won't listen to it, but they'll watch it. And the music, and the music be on the movie. So, so if you can't go and, um, you know, ladies love Denzel, boy. They love Denzel. If you can't watch a Denzel movie and then, and then after it, you considering leaving your husband to go find Denzel, then you, you, you got to build another relationship with God. I'm talking about I'm leaving you, I'm going to find Denzel. Because you saw him in training day. I'd be like, hey, baby, Denzel don't look like that no more. <laughs> no, I love Denzel. Y'all get off Denzel. <laughs> Y'all get out this there. All right. But my point is, you get into you have to start building yourself up with 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 music that please God. There are some recreational music that if you listen to won't take you all the way to the left. Same thing with a diet. With a diet, a physical diet. You have to have a steady, healthy diet so that when you eat something that's not in your uh, uh, that that's not healthy, that it doesn't take you out. All right. But anytime that you your steady diet is unhealthy, it's going to cause health problems. So you have to have a proper balance. All right, you cannot listen to murder, murder, kill, kill, murder, kill, murder. Murder, murder, kill, kill, murder, kill, murder, murder, kill, kill, sex. Murder, murder, kill, sex, murder. And then, and then, and then wonder why your life is like that. All right, you can't listen to depressing music all the time and not expect to be depressed. Man, play play some real depressing jazz, bro. My wife loves jazz, but just play some. Go ahead, turn it up, bro. Play play some. We still in the ride now. We still in the ride. Yes. I don't like myself right now. All of my friends are gone. I have no money. Wait, stop, let it play. You play, bro. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's smoke a blunt. Let's just smoke. Let's get drunk. If you listen to that all day, you're going to be looking for weed, but you're going to be stuck. If you listen to... Play something sexy, bro. Play something sexy. If you don't have a husband or wife, and you listen to sexy music all day, you're going to break that rule of sex before marriage. It's going to build the urges. Just make me a loop. Make me a loop or something. Here, get ready to get a mic, bro. Get you a mic. Yeah, just make a, just make a clean loop. Yeah. Baby, 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 baby. Uh, I want to make love to you, my baby. What you got on, girl? 
Yeah. Well, they don't talk doing records like that. That's our era, baby. I'm sorry. They don't apologize in music no more either. I'm coming home to you, baby. Have on that outfit for me, baby. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you listening to this type of music, this music is going to build something in you that you're going to want to express. Now, play some church music real quick. Yeah. This right here ain't going to get you in no tight mood, though. Yeah, this ain't going to get you in no tight mood. I love you, baby. <laughs> Hug me right now. Yeah. I love you, baby. Yes. Let's make love now. I love you, baby. Yes, I do. Yeah. And I cannot play this with the homies. All right. So hold on. So what? what do we do? God has created music, or you can create music for all moods. You can make music to get people out of depression. You can make music to get people from or drive away evil spirits. There are, are just play just play something, just one chord. All right. There's frequencies and healing in music that you might not understand. All right? But there's healing that's in music. There's also uh, damaging information that's in music. Just like I pray in music, they do seances in music. They do all type of evil stuff that they hide in music. They talking cold in music. All right? They are flirting with demonic activity in music. You hear me? Y'all hear me? All right, so music is not just music. It is trying to get you into a place to where you leave God. The ultimate goal of the enemy's music is to leave God. Now, here, here are certain things that we're going to talk about later on. We, which means people of the light, kingdom people, have, have deemed the devil the prince of the airways. Now, that scripture is misinterpreted, and we're going we're gonna to read it uh, uh, later on. We're not going to go into it today. Today is an introduction, and I want, I want you guys to um, talk about it and, and, and eventually ask questions uh, in a minute. But it's, a, it's talking about he's the prince of the airways when you were a child of darkness, when you were not, uh, 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 when Jesus didn't save your life. Of course, he's your prince when you are walking in sin. That's what that is talking about. He is the, he's the prince of the airways over all the sinners. But the kingdom of light, he doesn't control my airway. That's one. The other thing is, no matter who he controls, he's still a prince. And if there's a prince, there's a king. So even if he's a prince of the airways, they're still the king of the airways. And if ye are king of kings, lord of lords, you're a king. He's a prince. You're a king. You're a king. You're a female king. So as people of the light and people in the gospel, stop giving the enemy the power over the airways. We have the power over the airways. We have the dominion. God gave us the dominion. So, I'm, so stop saying that. Well, you know, uh, Satan is the prince of the airways. Not over me. King of kings, Lord of lords. If God is the king of kings, then who are the other kings? You're supposed to say me. All right? If God is the Lord of lords, then who are the other lords? You're supposed to say me. All right. So therefore, that's one thing. He is not. The prince of your airways. He might be the prince of their airways. He's not the prince of your airways. So he doesn't run my airways. So stop saying that. And then a lot of times he runs your airways because you said so. All right? And all of that mess is in your house. There are frequencies flowing through your house. There are waves and all the type of stuff that's flowing through here. But God has dominion of it. And he's giving it to you. All right. Well, you know they, they ain't doing nothing. 
They only do it because you say they're doing it. Well, you know it's okay. Whatever you say, that's what they're going to do. All right, that's one. The other thing is the minister of music thing. You got to find... Well, you know they say the devil was the minister of music in heaven. One, he wasn't no devil in heaven. He was Lucifer in heaven. He was, he was the devil when he got out of there. All right, that's one thing. The other thing is, he wasn't no minister of music in heaven. There's no scripture that say that. There's a misinterpretation back of Ezekiel 28. It never said that. So people just made, like, put eight scriptures together from different places and came up with the theory that he was the minister of music of, in heaven. That was talking about King Tyree. So when you read it, and you really read it instead of taking it from what your grandma say. Well, you know the devil is the minister of music. That's why. Mom, where you read that? Let me tell you something. I was going through a situation in business. It was a business situation. It was tough. It was, I had to make a tough decision on, about business. And um, all my life I heard the, the scripture, in business be men. Y'all, anybody ever heard that? In business be men. Does the Bible say in business be men? Okay, well, my mom and them used to quote it all the time. And so, I was talking to my daddy, and I was telling him about the situation. Man, I got to make this a tough decision, man. God, daddy, like, tell me what, what, what you think I should do. And he said, boy. And then I, 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 I actually, before I called him, researched the Bible looking for in business be men. I was looking for it, bro. All throughout the Bible, I'm looking for it. I heard it all my life. I know it's in there, but I was trying to find the context of where they use the scripture so that I can apply it to my life. And I could not find that thing nowhere. You know why I couldn't find it? Because it ain't in there. But I heard it all my life. And the Bible say in business be men. My mama used to have an attitude. Boy, the Bible say in business be men. Didn't say friends. Didn't say kin. It said in business be men. So, so that day, I decided to ask my dad, like, man, son, he said it again. Boy, you got to be a man. You got to be a man. The Bible say in business be men. And I say, daddy, like, like where's... Where it say that? Where it say that at in the Bible? And he say, oh, it ain't in there? <laughs> I'm like, man, y'all been telling me this all my life. And the Bible say, it don't say that. And there are certain things that people have been saying that's not in there. And one of them is that the devil is the minister of music. If God has given me authority... And at one time, man lost authority, and I believe that at that time, maybe he did have some authority in music or in all things because we had lost authority. But we got that authority back through Jesus Christ. So even if he was the minister of music, he's not the minister of music now. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to take all authority. People of the light have given the devil so much credit for so many things that he ain't do. People of the light. If God created him and music comes from him, then what you think God sounds like? Have you ever considered the sound of God? All right. So here it is. I want, I want, to, I want, I want you guys to ask your questions. We, we all listen to mainstream music. We all listen to uh, music that might not be talking about God. Music that might be talking about violence, music that might, we, we all have heard those songs. We all have uh, artists that we love. But let me tell you, the music takes you to a place. You can play an old song, it'll take you back to that place. All right? Music has the power to recreate atmospheres. All right? If I start playing Christmas music in here, it's going to fit. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. If I keep just playing that, y'all going to be expecting gifts pretty soon because of the atmosphere that was built. All right. So I want questions about your music, the music that you listen to. Thank you, gentlemen. You was, about, you was supposed to sing. We have, we have hands, but you're going to have, listen, we're going to be on music for a while. All right. 
and, and, and the reason why I do this is because sometimes you're being controlled by music that you don't know you're being controlled by. And so it's up to us, people of the light, to start to change the narrative of music. All right? Uh, the spirit, re regardless of the sound and regardless of the words I'm saying, the spirit of homosexuality is in some of even our gospel music. It attracts that it has a sound to it that makes other people of that lifestyle draw near. And it makes other and it propels other people. All right, now, so, so you, as soon as you say something about homosexuality, a lot of people be like, the word judge come up, judge, judge. You say homosexuality, stop judging. I just, I, I, I can say the word. I can't say the word. You know what I'm saying? Stop judging. I ain't judging nobody. I just said the word. Stop judging. I ain't judging. Stop. So I ain't scared to say that. Homosexuality. Homosexuality. Lesbianism. <laughs> What's the Q? Queer. What? Transvest? Trans, trans, well, I'm going to say all the words. What do I... I can say the words. You judge. I ain't judging. I'm just saying the word. Shut up, somebody. <laughs> All right. So, so we're attacking this thing with boldness. Uh, somebody had a question about music. Somebody had a hand. You got a question about music? Go to the mic. Where's the mic? Uh, so if you have a question, just, just, no, nah, just, uh-uh, uh-uh. Jazz, come here. You, but you got to hold the mic or hold the baby. Get the mic. Yeah, yeah, you got to do one or the other. You, you, do, you got too many jobs. You got, you got too many jobs. All right, all right. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. If you have a question about music, please move right here and ask your question real quick. Uh, can, can, I, can I listen to secular? Does, does God care if I listen to secular? Um, you know, uh, how many songs can I listen to before he's not pleased? Um, you know, can I listen to songs about sex? Can I listen to sexy songs with my wife? Can I, you know, uh, can I write songs that don't have God or Jesus in it? Can I, can I, you know, you know, uh, is it okay to blah, 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 blah? I need, I need questions. I know y'all have them, but y'all scared to ask them because y'all in church. You know, and then, listen, you can come up and ask your question, and, and you know, people ain't going to judge you. They, they're not going to, they might try to attach you to the question, but you can say, I'm asking for a friend. All right? I'm, you know, uh, uh, listen, uh, I like to listen to Rick James. Is it okay? I'm asking for a friend. You know, that's, that's fine. You can ask, but I, wanna, I, I want you guys to ask your questions real quick, and we're going to ask, uh, we're going to uh, address them. Um, if there's a lot of people, I just want you to all just ask them at once, and then we'll address it because uh, our time is uh, drawing short. Uh, come on. Uh, go ahead and ask your questions real quick. Yeah, so... When you're in the car with people that listen to other music that you don't like, how do you get them to change it? When you, are, are you the driver? No. Okay, well then, <laughs> if you're not the driver, if you're riding with people, all right, the question is, if you're riding with people that don't like the music, you don't like the music that they listen to, uh, then you probably got to find you another ride. Or, or, um, Suge make make suggestions. Um, I, I don't like when um, people condemn other people for what they listen to. Don't make them feel feel bad. Just give them a suggestion of, man, try some of this, try some of this. Now, if their lifestyle, uh, if, if, they're li if they're not a, 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 a Christian and they don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, then they, they, they already have a lifestyle that they're used to that they've been doing all their lives. So I can't expect them to do certain things when I get in the car and they've been living like this all their lives. Uh, people of the light, they're like some, some, there's something on you too that uh, sometimes people will change uh, when you come around. But it depends on how you act. You can't say I listen to gospel music, but you crazy. And, and that ain't to you, but you know what I'm saying? Only thing holy about you is your music because everything else is crazy. All right, cause so you can't you can't be like, hold on, I listen to I listen to rap, you listen to gospel, and if gospel make you act like that, I'm gonna keep listening to what I listen to, cause you crazy. 
All right. So your light. So a lot of people who listen to, oh, you know, they be at work listening to hallelujah music all the time at their cubicle and somebody's playing something else. But your lifestyle is not the same as the music that you playing. So people don't want to hear your music because they like, man, you a hypocrite. All right. Now, we understand that you might have a bad day or you might go off or you might cut somebody out or whatever. They, they sure to join your check, whatever. But the whole thing is overall, the lifestyle that you live got to be bigger than any music. So even but even if you're writing with somebody and they are playing secular music all right, as a gospel artist, you know, I, I get picked up by by a person, you know, a, an Uber and they playing music. All right. I can stomach. 30 minutes of whatever they playing, I ain't, I ain't going to hell or my whole lifestyle going to be thrown off because somebody's playing a song that I don't dig or that got some bad lyrics in it or is done cussed or something like that. You know, my mama, she, boy, I'm talking about if we go into a, uh, a store or something at the mall and they playing, you know, at the mall, they going to play the cuss words and everything. They don't even care. You know, they're going to play everything. But my mama will go and tell the manager to change or stop the music while I'm here. I am a woman of God. Stop this music as my son try to pick up some jeans. <laughs> and I'd be embarrassed like, God, dog. Yeah, mama don't stop. And so, and so sometimes, sometimes people just need you to go up to the cash register and say, how you doing? You having a good day? You, you all right today? Listen, man, what's your name? Can I, I, I'm going to pray for you later on. We'll be back in here. Uh, and, and just that, just that alone. But you don't have to come in there with your oil, you know, at, at the mall when they playing music and that's what they live in, that's what they were raised in. You come in with your, with your oil, uh, putting little dots on people's head all in the store because they playing some music that you don't like. So everybody walk around with a little dot on their head because you done, you done blessed the whole... <laughs> Uh-uh. If you, if you shopping and they playing evil music, that's what they do. That's the atmosphere. You got to be the light. So you got to figure out a way to do light. How you do light? Smile. That's the first light. Change your attitude. You can't walk in a stank. That's the first light. You saved and you in a place of darkness. They need your light. So, so you can't go in there and be all, all uncomfortable because they playing what they, and they doing what they do. And ain't nobody asked you to come here. This, this eye mall. This eye store. You see, you see what I'm saying? You got you to gotta start being the light and stop being babies. All right? All right, so if you're in a place where they are playing secular music or music that you don't dig, you, 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 know, you can start praying under your breath. You know, don't be praying loud. God, no. Oh. They playing music. And you shande ko sheke bo re bande kande bo re bo sheke da bo sha. You in the back of the Uber and they 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 like freaking out. Kambos, kambos, kambos. No, man, you pray under your breath. You don't know what that person is going through. You don't know how long they've been listening to that music. That's fine. You got the Holy Spirit. You'll live. You think the Holy Spirit, I mean, some demons going to jump out the car, jump on you. Like, man, if, that's, that's, if you that spiritually weak, then you, you need to dip again. You need to be baptized. You need some more Jesus. But some holy people feel like they can't go around nothing. Oh, they play a second. Oh, you can't go in that store. Oh. And you've given dominion over the devil and all these places. And it's all dark and you got the light. You walk in there. Shop with the people. Speak to them. Smile at them. What is that? That's called light. All right. Give me the next question real quick. We got, we got a couple minutes. Go ahead. Even though that you listen to, um, like, rap music, do it change, like, how you, how you act? It, it does. It does. Over time, it'll, con it, it'll condition your mind. There, there, was a song, there was a song back in the day uh, that was called Tear the Club Up. Yeah, <laughs> made, made by 3-6 Mafia. Yeah, they 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 tried they tried to 
they tried to name themselves as devilish as they can. And I'm going to tell you, they church boy, at least one of them. The, one of the main ones came from the church. Yeah, nobody knew that. That's your good church. All right. Most of, most of, Snoop, church boy. All of, most, most of these people came from the church. All right. And the church wouldn't use the gift. So the world took them. All right. But there was a song called Tell the Club Up. And it was like, Tell the Club Up. Tell the Club Up. Tell the club up, tell the club up, tell the club. So, so after he and tell the club up, eventually, what you think they start doing? Tear the club up, and they used to. So they banned that song out of club. Or if it's no, if you book, no, if you book. I know, I know these kids personally. You know why I know them personally? Cause they went to our church. Crime mob went to world changer. My people. Diamond, our people, they, they, they're our people. See, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, I am come that you may have life and life more abundantly. Most of these groups wouldn't survive because they would be overrun by darkness. And then when you're overrun by darkness, you can't see. And when you can't see, you can't move. So there's a little bit of light that's in mainstream music that causes them to move. If I turn all the lights off, we stuck. So there's a little bit of light. You ever been in a dark room and you see a strip of light at the bottom? And that little strip of light, you can navigate yourself out of a dark place. All right? So let me, tell, let me show you something. A lot of these bands, secular, mainstream, a lot of these bands, somebody, there's a little piece of light on the drums. There's a little piece of light on the keyboard. If you research it, somebody came from somebody church in most of these places. But we lose them because we don't have any place to put them. Or we don't, we do have places to put them, but we don't want to mess up our, ah, we don't want to mess up our, the way that we do praise and worship. To celebrate God with all types of music and all types of swags. So yeah, baby, listen, the more you listen to music that is not of God, if you don't have enough God music and enough and talk to God enough, the voice of a stranger you're follow. So if you don't understand God's voice, then you'll follow any voice. And most uh, mainstream music is descriptive of how to make you do certain things. Uh, 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 songs, a lot of songs taught, taught, taught teenagers how to have sex. A lot of the songs. It's in the song. You listen to the right song, you'll know everything to do. A lot of the songs taught people how to sell dope. A lot of the songs taught people how to rob. How to get ready to ride on somebody. It's in the music. You say the streets taught you. A lot of the kids ain't in the streets. They learning it from the music. But if you don't if you don't listen to enough, get a, get yourself filled with the Holy Spirit, and have God in your heart and constantly talking to God, then this stuff will take uh, uh, start to take over your mind and it'll start to come out your heart. All right, we got we got two more questions. Hurry up! I got, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, three, three. Go ahead, baby. Uh, how does like rap music change your acting? It changes when you start to hear something. Uh, so if your spirit is empty, which means uh, if I if, if 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 let's say let's say um, any y'all scared of dogs in here? Okay, any of y'all have dogs? All right, and not scared of dogs. All right, so you 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 have a dog, 
So if a strange dog run up to you because you are, you are experienced with the information of having a dog, you know what to do. Me? I only know to run. That's all I know because I haven't been experienced at anything else. There's nothing else in my spirit. There's nothing else in my mind. The only thing I know to do is run, my instincts, all right? If I spend some time with you, spend some time with your dog, and you start teaching me on what to do when dogs come, then whenever dogs come, I'm going to have a different reaction because of what's been downloaded into my spirit. So if your spirit is empty, which means if you don't have a lot of God in you or, or whatever, then whatever is the controlling thing or whatever you hear the most, is going. that's eventually what you're going to do. Here's why. Because you're most of the time going to say what you're singing. You're going to say what you're listening to. So most of the times when you say what you're listening to, it is starting to take possession of your body and your mind and your spirit. That is the truth. So if you keep saying the lyrics, you're going to eventually start to live out the song because the power of life and death is in the tongue. So therefore, you have to make sure that you have enough of God's word in your spirit based off of whatever music, God's words in your spirit. So even the Holy Spirit will say, don't say that. There's certain songs I can't say. I can't. Mm -mm. There are certain gospel songs I can't say. I, I love quartet. And uh, there's a song by the Kansas Spirituals that says, uh, I've been struggling, I've been straining, and I'm on my way home. I can't say none of that. I ain't going on, on my way home. Uh, not, not right now. I got too much to do. Um, I ain't struggling and I ain't straining. And that's called a gospel song. Can't say that. So I just listen. I don't say nothing. Well, I, some I don't agree with it, can't say it. All right? All right, come on, next question. Oh. Okay, so I have different people that wants me to be on their music. Use that mic so I can hear you. I have different people that wants me to be on their music, but their music isn't like music I do or I support. I can, is, that's the word you use. Yeah. But, um, and I don't want to make them think that, like, oh, I'm too good for them or whatever. Right. But so I was asking how to go. About so so um, if anybody mainstream want to do a song with me, the answer is going to always be yes. But it's like we have to agree. The Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree? So we have to agree. So the topic of discussion, we have to agree on. All right. So it's either going to be. Uh, we can either talk about God or we can talk about love or we can talk about peace or we can talk about nonviolence or we can talk about anything positive. But if it's negative, I can't ride with it because I don't agree. So I'm not going to be on anything that I don't agree with. All right. And it's not that I'm too good. It's just this is my standard. All right. If you want me on a song, we're going to do the song together. This is a standard that I have with my music. Boom, boom, boom. You know, and, and you dope. So you don't have to compromise your sound for anybody. All right. And so you, you stay in that confidence. And then if they if they want you to talk about something that's not pleasing to God and, and, and that you don't want to confess, you just say, no, no, I'm not. Doing, I'm not doing that. What else you got? No, nah, I don't want to do that one. What else you got? No, nah, I ain't doing that one. I got something. Let's do this. All right. You don't want to do that one. OK, well, then, bro, get back with me. Get back with me. How your people call my people. <laughs> and that's it. I, I'm not going to sit there and compromise with no devil. I ain't come. I ain't come. I ain't even have another conversation. Bro, what we doing? No, nah, okay, I ain't doing that. You don't want to do this? All right, I can't do that. Love you, bro. I'm going to keep supporting. All right? All right, last question. So, like, what if the song is, like, it has a valid message, but it's not, like, a, you don't know if it's a, a good message to keep listening to? Because it's, like, it's a, it's a valid message, but it's not, like. Like, what kind of valid message? Okay, so. Uh, so the the message is he's replaceable. Okay. So like. Like what's the line say? You're irreplaceable. Like Beyonce said to the left, to the left. No, not that one. It's by Chris Brown. He's replaceable. Basically, like you, you're, you're. Basically, he's saying like you're too good to be like trying to stay on this one person. Oh, he, he's like, settling he, for easily, one dude. Like you can he's easily go to the next person. That's that's fine. Um, you got to be mature enough to listen to a good song by somebody that usually does 
Uh, because, you know, that playlist, when you playing the playlist, it's going to go to the next song. So he's going to say, you're, you're a replaceable girl. You could do better than that. But, and the next song is going to be like, drop your drought. So you, so, so you got to understand, you got to understand that the enemy, you know, like, it, 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 there's a science to this. There's, there, there's a craft to this. There's a science to this. There, there are certain things you do on purpose. If you look at the career of uh, uh, Lil Nas, Lil Nas had a real positive, fun song at first to get everybody in. To get everybody in. And then as soon as that, they, they, them people got around him and changed everything about him. Now, now all the kids that caught, came in on, on the merry-go-round of hope, now they on something else. You see what I'm saying? So you got to watch the science of what the enemy is trying to do with the, with the person who has a known. So that's why, that's why you go in the spirit. What is God saying? What is God saying about this song? What is God saying about this? And the Bible says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he would direct thy path. Bring every song. Every lyric to God. And he going to tell you, nope, yep, nope, yep, nope. Not, not looking for a religious way to say, what if we did it? And then just say, we want to do all the, well, as long as they're not cussing, all right? Well, what if they bleep out the cuss word? Well, okay, well, what if they diss this? Well, what if, and you take all, that's why I'm trying to navigate y'all to have a, a relationship with God. And he going to tell you. Because there's some, gonna be some gospel songs he ain't gonna let you listen to. There's gonna be some Christian artists that he ain't gonna let you listen to. There's, it, it, you're gonna be like, man, the Lord, this song everybody loves, but God says no to this. And it is because you have a tailor made relationship with God. All right? So in music, take, don't be a person that wanna take everything to God except your music. Take all of your music to God. All of your music to God. All of your movies to God. All right? There'll be, there's some adults that listen to all gospel but watch all mess. Yeah, I listen to gospel. Yeah, but you watch all mess. So the mess still getting into you. Take all your movies to God. All your shows to God. All of it. Acknowledge him, and he would direct that part. Okay, so I, I have to stop with the questions. Uh, y'all got them quick, 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 and we, we got to stop. When you listen to bad stuff, does bad spirits come into your life? When you do bad stuff, do bad spirits come to your life? Well, if you're doing bad stuff, it's probably already there. But, but, but sometimes people make mistakes. Sometimes people make mistakes, and you say, God, forgive me. I made a mistake, and you just try not to do it again. All right, so it don't mean that you evil, could you? It means that you're maturing. You're, you're getting more mature, and so as you keep maturing and you grow up and you learn to mature, you know. But but you don't do bad stuff. You just make mistakes, and sometimes you you know you just say, Lord, forgive me. That's all. All right. Um, and when, what we're doing now is learning how to be more mature in the things of God. All right, that's an awesome question. All right, all right, DJ. All right, so um, if you listen to a song that's about someone being a thug, it's going to make you want to be a thug? Probably, if you keep listening to it. If you see, So it's not necessarily that you listen to it one time. It's that sometimes, l l let's just say um, if a kid is being bullied, all right, and nobody's supporting him, he's, he's empty, his feelings are hurt, and nobody's coming towards him and helping him and telling him what to do, encouraging him, stopping the bullying or something else. Now he's looking for something to make him feel better. So sometimes that, that music is making you feel more strong, more confident, but it's also telling you to do the, the wrong things. All right, it may say, man, I'm tired of y'all bullying me. And you may say, man, yeah, that's, that's my life. And he say, now nah, I'm finna go get the gat and I'm finna start. That's the part where you gotta, uh-uh, nah, that, that, I'm not gonna get, do that. So that's why you gotta always follow, pray about the music. 
if they if they if it's telling you to be a thug, you got to say I'm not a thug. You can't repeat lyrics that you don't agree with. You can't say certain things that you don't want to live out. People who who uh, make songs about shooting never never talk about the gun the, the bullets that's coming back. They just talk about they gun. Nobody you ain't never heard a song about a person bragging on the enemy's gun. Man, that joker got a chopper. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? He's, his gun is bigger than mine. You know what I'm saying? They never, they never talk about that, but most kids get killed in the street because the song done gassed them up to think that they got the only gun. And that is, and, 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 the, and the dude in the other car listening to the same song to make them shoot at you. So you have to be smart enough to start navigating yourself in the things of God. All right, the kids, y'all got to make sure that as you go through TikTok, as you listen to these uh, uh, things on Instagram, that you all, even adults, we have to make sure that we, that we um, um, have enough God music in us, have enough uh, prayer in us so that this stuff doesn't take us uh, the wrong way. Uh, when you get angry and upset, most of the times the song comes up. When you get angry and upset, let me tell you something. When you get angry and upset, holy hip-hop songs don't come to my head. I'm going to stay saved was what I should have did. It's not what I did. Yeah, I ordered a number nine. She gave me a number four. She got cussed out. He got cussed. It was a dude. I put a girl there, but it was a dude. I cussed him out and got banned from a, a restaurant because I lost my mind. That's the truth. All right? And it's because I didn't have positive music. I was doing mainstream hip-hop. I was producing thug music at that time. So I was snapping on everybody. But because of what was in me. All right? So you got to make sure that you keep, if you, you see something on Instagram, you see something on TikTok, you make sure that you go back at the end of the day, pray, Lord, fill me back up. Get into the presence of God. Uh, give me some worship music. Yeah, get, you, get you something uh, that, 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 that could just help you feel, Lord, I worship you. God, if I seen something that's not pleasing in your sight, if I, if I, if, please, God, uh, remove it from my heart. Because you don't want to live out this stuff. All right. Father God, we love you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for this first session. Thank you for the information, God. Lord, help us, God, to analyze the music that we're listening to. But God, ultimately, we just want to please you. We just want to please you. And even if we listen to something that's old school or, or that's, that, that has some certain lyrics, don't let, us, don't let it take us to a place that's unpleasing to you. I only want to please you. And God, even if you tell me to remove this stuff from my life, I am mature enough to do it. I will obey your word. I will obey your word. Hallelujah. I rebuke in negative emotions that's caused by music. Hallelujah. Stop going back to those old places. I will not go to, to those old places uh, uh, of distress and, 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 and hurt and anger uh, uh, and, and distress in Jesus' name uh, that, that, that music take me back to. God, I'm healed emotionally, physically, uh, mentally in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, for the healing in this session and the healing in this series that we're going to talk about. We take music back in Jesus' name. We declare that the light of music, God, and the maturity of the sons of God is manifesting in music, in the music industry, in all the genres of music around the world. In Jesus' name, we take it back. God, sing through us. Let us desire your sound. In Jesus' name. All right, I declare number one records out of this church. But y'all missed that. I declare number one records out of this church. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah.